Where does the book come from? People have been thinking about that for a long time. How do you begin? How do you get into it? I would say that if you're if you're not finding this happen somewhat spontaneously, you probably shouldn't be uh, doing this activity. Um, I mean, there are a lot of people who say, I want to be a writer, and you say, well, well what do you want to write? And they say, I don't know. <laughs> so for me, I, th I think it's not a question of sitting around wondering what I'm going to write. It's a question of sitting around wondering which of the far-fetched and absurd ideas I'm actually going to try to tackle. Uh, sometimes I think I should be a lot uh, safer and less risk-taking and stick to somebody or something a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more manageable. Uh, but those aren't the things that appeal to me, unfortunately. I wish I had a formula, I wish I had a way of proceeding that would be kind of, you know, well, this is what chapter one is always like and this is what chapter two is always like. But it isn't. I, I just have to plunge into it. And it's usually the one that I, that the voice of, of sanity and reason is telling me not to write. It's usually that one that I end up writing. My absolute opening entry is always a handheld object with a point on one end. So it's going to be either <laughs> a pencil or a pen. And then it is applied to a flat substance of some kind, which is usually a piece of paper, but could be a piece of cardboard if I'm stuck <laughs> with the paper, or even my arm when things get really bad. Uh, I think people should carry notebooks with them at all times just for those moments because there's nothing worse than having that moment and finding that you're unable to set it down except with a knife on your leg or something. You, you actually don't want to do that. So the, I recommend the paper and the pencil or if you must some other stylus writing device that provides a permanent record of what you've just set down. When we get a bit further into it, I have to say that I do love the sticky notes. I like them. I like the bedside notebook for those thoughts that are so important at about 12 midnight and then you wake up in the morning and can't figure out why you thought that. So all of that goes on. And then do you know what a rolling barrage is? A rolling barrage uh, comes from World War One, and it's when you you run forward and then crouch down and your side fires over your head. Then you stand up, run forward, and your side fires over your head again. If you got the timing wrong, of course, it's <laughs> unfortunate. So I start typing on a computer now. Computers were very helpful for me because I was always a bad typist and a bad speller. I start typing up my handwritten text while I'm still writing it at the back. So the rolling barrage of typing goes on while the uh, writing creeps forward along the ground, if you will. First of all, there is no normal time in, that it takes me to write a novel. It very much depends on the length of the novel and how well or badly it's going. And some of them have taken quite a long time because I have started off on the wrong foot. I've gotten quite far down the path and realized that I have to change everything. Go back to the beginning, start again, uh, and that can happen several times. So that, of course, takes up time. Some of them are quite quick because you, you've started off the right way and then you can just uh, roll with it. I don't know whether you've ever done any whitewater canoeing or, or surfing. Um, but that can be an exhilarating experience and that's when the wave is going with you. With whitewater canoeing you actually want to go faster than the water and with surfing you want to go with it. But when that doesn't happen it can be very frustrating and take up a lot of time. Am I a surfer? Not anymore, dear. <laughs> Not anymore, I would break my neck. <laughs>